So one thing to try real fast is trying to connect your system to the cloud to so see if you get your new system connected to the cloud. Um, I'm going to show you how it works right now. Um, then we'll take a look at cloud. Right, so since I'm connecting my system to cloud, I guess you're going to connect to your system yeah. to the cloud. Right? So to connect the system to the cloud, right? Um, so we've got this system set up now. We want to connect to the cloud. I'll change the Tony desktop computer. All right. So to connect to cloud, you go to system administration from the hamburger menu. All right. Um, the other thing is in your new system, you can see over here, you got a notification that says connect your system to cloud. Check out NX Cloud. Right. So you can connect, you can just click there to connect as well. Uh, and it will open up the NX Cloud dialog, or you can go to System Administration and click on NX Cloud, right? So, to connect to Cloud, you need to have an NX Cloud account. So, if you have, if you do not have a Cloud account, you need to create a Cloud account. If you click on that button, it's going to open up the Cloud interface and ask you to register. I'm already logged in, so that's not going to work for me, right? Because I already have a Cloud account. So if I go to connect system to cloud, it's going to ask you to log in with your email address or your cloud account. So you use your NX cloud account, whatever it may be, to connect. Press enter, and that's it. As long as you have an active internet connection, it will automatically connect your system to cloud. Now, remember, my system is called Tony's Demo, right? So if I go to the cloud portal now, then I will see all the systems that are shared with my account. So you can see Tony's demo here is now available. And I can click on open it and then next witness if I want to and it will automatically connect me to that system. Right? Um, so if I click into there, you can see the users that are in the cloud right now. You can rename your system. You can view uh, the, the cameras connected to that system as well. Right? some reason it's not working right now but that's okay because it's training videos of course it's not going to work so the system is connected to cloud we'll continue to go from there into what cloud actually is so all right so back to the presentation nx cloud Oop, wrong button. So what is NX Cloud? NX Cloud is a public cloud application. We talked about this uh, during the system design, system overview phase. Uh, built that is meant to enable simple, fast, remote connectivity and management of internet connected NX witness systems. So if your system is connected to the internet, you can connect to the cloud and you can access it from anywhere with just email. You can share and create new users with just an email. You can view video. You can connect via the desktop application via cloud. You can connect via the mobile application via cloud. Um, and then that way you never have to set up port forwarding or any dynamic DNS services in order to be able to connect to your system and you don't have to have a public IP address. We handle all that for you. Um, Cloud services, they're, they're basically two right now. Cloud Connect, um, that allows you to connect to your system. Um, and the way that that works is the server connects to the cloud and says, I'm over here, right? And then the client connects to the cloud and says, I'm over here. And then the cloud goes, client, you should look for the server over here. And the client will try a direct connection, also called NAT traversal. Uh, and it will try and connect directly to the server to stream video from it without proxying via cloud. If for some reason you're connecting to a server that has internet service provider routing issues, like sometimes you're connecting from like, let's say, uh, the US to Europe, somewhere along the way, one of the ISPs is, has blocked uh, the ability to form a direct connection. Cloud will then proxy video streams and data through the cloud to your client, right? So it depends on the latency of the connection and all that sort of stuff. It will always try and establish a direct connection to a server. Um, but if it can't, it will proxy it through the cloud. Um, user management. You can add an unlimited number of users to a single NX cloud system. So you can basically share access to lots of people. 
uh, in your NX Witness system in seconds with email addresses. All right, so if I wanted to give Nick access to my new demo system here, I would click on Tony's demo system and click share and then send an email to nviola at networkoptics.com. And if I'm generous, I will make him an administrator. I will say yes. So now, Nick, you should be able to connect to my system from yours, and you can share a connection with, to me with your system if you want, um, and then you can see those coming in here. Um, so that's how you share connections, right? Uh, user management, as you just saw, is very straightforward and very simple. Um, one thing to note when you're creating uh, a cloud uh, access, when you're giving access to your cloud, uh, when you share, you're going to have permissions. There are administrator, advanced viewer, viewer, live viewer, and custom. Custom requires you to have um, a custom role um, set up locally. Um, if you have a role for this system, it will show up here as well. So you can set up custom roles and then provide custom access to the system as well. But you need to set up the role in your local system before you share it via cloud. All right. So cloud has secure communications. Um, NX Cloud supports secure password recovery via email. So if you ever lose your password, you can just click reset my password and you can reset your password uh, via email. Um, storage. Cloud is all the stuff that's stored in cloud is stored in a complex multi-level MD5 hash. Basically, no one's getting to the password, including us. Um, so if you lose your password, that's a bad thing. You either have to have a cloud connection or you've got to reset your system. Um, encrypted connections, HTTPS and open SSL are used for cloud communications. Um, and then encrypted video, we talked about the option before. You can encrypt video between the client and server uh, application. Uh, just like the rest of the software, NX Cloud undergoes regular security audits and uses the latest technologies for secure communications and password management to stay secure. Um, the interface, um, we just pulled it up, but the cloud interface is pretty simple. It's browser-based, so you can open it up in any browser, um, and it focuses more on the management than the viewing side of things. Right? It's really about managing connections, managing users. Viewing, you do have the ability to view live or recorded video from connected cameras and stream. So if you get an email notification from the system, um, it may send you to a browser to view it. And this is where you would view it, would be in the browser if you're in a cloud connected system. This is one of the places you can view it. Right, so if I go look at a camera, the timeline works just like it does a lot in the uh, desktop client. Um, so right now that one's live only. And this one's live. So the timeline's going to end up working just like it once it's loaded up everything. Uh, the cloud interface is significantly slower um, than, than the local interface, by the way. So, and since we're on a beta version, it looks like we got maybe got a bug here in the cloud interface, so we're not going to spend too much time on that right now. Um, mobile and tablet um, also works for cloud interface. Integration tools. So the cloud API enables pathway communications to NX cloud connected systems using regular server API calls. Um, if you're connecting to the cloud, we actually have, a, if you're developing with cloud connections with a server API, but you want to be able to proxy your calls via the cloud, um, you can do that with our uh, cloud server API. Uh, uh, it really allows you to integrate any third-party application devices, potentially cloud-based analytic systems, that type of stuff as well, uh, can connect to the cloud. We do have a um, Zapier app as well. So if you want to create an integration to like 1,100, 1,500 different online web platforms, Zapier is a great way to do that. Um, there's, a, there's a video on our YouTube channel about how to create the Zapier. Um, so you, you should check it out. It's pretty cool, pretty flexible. Um, so this is the key feature is the NAT traversal, which we talked about before. Um, good over Wi-Fi and LAN, good over 4G and LTE as well. Um, 
for viewing. You've got live video, you got recorded video, you got a keyword search, calendar search, and a scalable timeline in the web client, just like it works on the server web admin interface. They're almost exactly the same. Um, and then NX Cloud allows systems to be shared with built in or custom roles. We went over this a second ago. Um, systems can be connected to or disconnected from the cloud. Um, one thing to note, when you disconnect a system from the cloud, you're going to lose all your users and have to add them again. So this is really something you should avoid doing, right, if you can. Um, in 4.0, systems can also be merged via the cloud interface. So if Nick set up his system, I set up my system, I want to bring them together, I can do that in the cloud interface in 4.0. Um, scalability. There's an unlimited number of systems, an unlimited number of users, an unlimited number of devices, and you got your cloud API. Basically, if you've got a huge system that you're planning um, with lots of different sites, you, you don't want to merge them all together because you're going to hit your maximum amount. You can tie them all to one cloud account and then really quickly go in and out of systems uh, as needed. And that's cloud. It's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. Uh, for the next video, go ahead and download NX Mobile. If you don't have it already, and then we're going to use and try and connect to your system. If, you, if you've connected your system on, uh, at home or in your office uh, to the cloud, if you download NX with this mobile and you log in with your cloud account, you should also be able to connect uh, to this system that you just set up right now. So give it a go, and then we'll go over mobile next.